for for the worship. It's now Bible studies. Let us go, Elder Andrews. Amen. God bless you, Papa. Uh, uh, little giant, uh -huh. little giant, Bra Kevin. God bless you, Pa. Why are there? Well done, well done. Good. We welcome each other to the midweek service. Ah, now our training film film every midweek service of Bible study. Anytime you are with God, Elohim Yahweh, the Bible says he has lifted his word above himself. So if you are privileged to learn the word of God, then it's a blessing. Why? Because the word is what he used to create the world. The word is that sustains the world. And the last day when we take our breath and we appear before him, is the same word he's going to use to judge you and I. You will need to copy the name of the word. Then there is a necessity for us to learn the word. So we are here to learn. Amen. Amen. Good. Last time, what did we learn last week when we came? We learned something and we continued it when we went to church last Saturday. So what did we learn last Wednesday when we came? Yeah, now no, 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 me ba cho eh ya start no ya kan bi bi enu eh ma eh odi for malaka oh e tre en sia yi mo nwotwe no wo se wa kan ye eye a kire onipa de ewrade le hwa wo ho enya adibu ya la se ade tene ne ye adoye pe and I hope bless you. I will need with your uncle for the nante. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> well done, Mama. I mean, so, so Mama quoted from Malachi that the Lord requires nothing from us but to do righteousness and to seek peace. That is what He requires from us. So last time, who was here? You see, I am not one and Mhm. Yes. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Um, but you're not tattooed here, walking with the Lord. Good. That was a title, okay? And then what happened next? Um, yes, we have said, um, we learned that Noah, Abraham, and the rest of the prophets work with God. Good. God bless you. What you said is also right. I want the third person that we continue. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Obadiah <laughs> Said the woman also a brat in the old boy, and no more genia, me geno, and genius as I answer the chat, said the bayer, Bemma, said the affairs, and I be a stunny baby and a tiano, and nano, a full front zoom, who said, Yet, sister, and no sooner it me think if I the back of body and chain, and the anonymous sonoma would quotations to be as a piano crap, and no more can say, Hm, me in a kitchen. You dear father, pray ya. <laughs> and I was also come. Baby said, <laughs> met me. For example, I said, oh, met me, Mr. Vida Nante, 
Ah, me ne na juni enya ba kuwa na. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. We have some investors among us who does not speak our language, so I would oh, okay, okay. what we have said so far to them. Uh -huh. uh, I'm trying to recollect from what we did last week. We said a topic, and the topic was walking with God. And we found out about some people who walk with God. And some of the examples were uh, Enoch, Abraham, um, Enoch, uh, Abraham, and uh, Noah, and those people. So in our dispensation, how are we walking with God? And we came to find, find out that you cannot walk with God if you don't agree with him. So the quotation in Amos chapter 3 says, who can walk with God or can two walk together without being in agreement? So if I have to walk with you, then you and I must have something in agreement. So that was a recap of what we learned last week. Good. And Mama Mary wanted to ask something to me. Mama Mary, did you want to ask something to what you want to say? Okay, okay. Mama Mary wanted to support uh, her contribution with Amos that can two walk together without being in agreement. Good. All that you have said is correct. Indeed, we walk with God. And we have also found an example of people who walk with God. So then that be the case. The question I want to throw to the whole board or the whole class today is, mm -hmm. are you walking with God? Yes. Only Mama Gary said yes, so the rest are not walking with God. So Mama, then let me talk to you. We are walking with God. <laughs> we, you and who? We do for can. sure. I say yes, so we are. Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, I say uh. I'm walking with God. Who do, I'm who walking with God. Me? Okay. Who else is working with God? I Mama do. Right. Me, me, Aunt Lydia, yes. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. That I brought for Abba. Aunt Lydia brought for Hallelujah. And our new, our new brother also said he's working with the Lord. Yes, uh, Brother Marlon is also working with the Lord. Now, we thank yeah. God that all of us, we are working with the Lord. We bless Yahweh so much that he has given us the privilege to walk with him. But Amen. Adam walked with God. Noah walked with God. Um, all the people we mentioned their name last week, they walk with God. But in our dispensation, we are working with God as what? So we are going back to what we started from last uh, Saturday in the church. And Adam. From there... Adam. Yes, Mama. Because Okay. Now, our mother wanted to ask a question, but everything is included in the um in the presentation. So we will come there and all that she has said, there's going to be an answer to that. So Amen. we are working with God. We are working with God as a son. We are no slaves to sin. Uh -huh. We are working with God as a son. So last Saturday, we realized that 
we are not just ordinary people. We are not just ordinary Sabbatarians. We are not just ordinary people who don't have anything to do. We are just wasting our time on the Zoom. No, that's not what we are. We are working with God, but as children. So first yes. John chapter three, verse one, John writes a complete amazing thing about the essence of God's love. He says that how great is it that God the Father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God. And that is what we are. Right yes. there in your Bible, first John three, one says that how great is the love of God the father he has lavished on us that we mm -hmm. should be called the children of god so you and i we are called what the children, children of, god. of god now let's break it down if you are you are a child and you are working with your father to school who takes the lead and who holds which hands no one saw inside who goes to when you decline nineteen watching a young Exactly. So when you are working with the father, you as a child, you must hold on to your father's hand. Mm -hmm. He must lead the way and you should follow. Amen. Amen. So Amen. then if we are working with God or you are with your father, let's bring it down to our father's level. Yeah. You can't tell your father how to walk. You can't tell your father, uh, 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 Papa, pass here, pass left. You can't instruct your father what to do. He is holding your hand to make the work. But when you come to our Christian life these days, we are telling God what to do. A simple example. The book of Corinthians says, it's expected of any woman who is praying to cover her head. We are working with our father. Our father is telling us what we want. We say, na, 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 papa. That your time is kulu. That your time is pray ancient time. This your time telling me to walk, cover my head before I come to pray is something that is not in modern. It's not in the fashion. Papa, please excuse you. <laughs> Can you tell your father like that? No. If the answer is no, then why do we dictate to God what God, what God should do? It's a question. Your father says we are walking a line of prayer. Anytime we are walking a line of prayer and I'm leading you, come before me by going down humbly before me in prayer and on your knees. Papa, why should I do that? Oh, because uh, uh, Abraham did it. Daniel did it. Uh, Jesus Christ, your senior brother did it. So whenever you come to me in prayer, you two should do the same. Yeah, Papa, but those days is gone. We are now in 2000 and in 20. So Papa, that time is cool. Can you tell your father like that? No. no. If that not be the case, dear, then we as children, we are in no position to tell God what he must do. Period. So if you can identify yourself as a child of God and God is your father, then you must be under his instruction, period. Because Amos said, can two work together without being in agreement? If not, then you have to agree with God. So the question I want to put across is, do you agree with God or God agrees with you? I agree with God. Good. You have to agree with God. Yeah. You have to agree with God. God says, come before me with clean heart. You say, ah, God, wait. I can't come for you to clean heart today because that woman did me something. If I don't pay her back, I can't sleep. So you <laughs> just pray first. After prayer, I'll I'll see what I will do. God said that you are not ready. <laughs> so if you want to walk with God. The book of Amos 3 says, can two walk together without being in agreement? If the answer is no, then you can't walk with God as a father and telling God your terms. It doesn't okay. work like that. Uh, am I clear to this point? Yes, yes. Okay. 
So when we check out what the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 5 to 11 says, Hebrews 12 verse 5 to 11 says that, You have forgotten the encouraged words that God speaks to you as his children. So here in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 5, the Bible says, God's children are who? We are his children. Then you have to pause and take it easy and say, oh, am I God's child? He said, my child, pay attention when the Lord disciplines you. Hey. So, can God discipline me? Yes. Yes, I am his child. Mm -hmm. If I do something stupid, he has the right to, I mean, hey, as my earthly father will penalize me, the same way God will penalize you. He said, my child, me, my emphasis is on the word child, my child. You are God's child. He said, he said, don't give up when he corrects you. Many a times we as Christians, when something happens, when Sister B step on my toes in the church, when Sister A do something against me in the church, ah, I stop the church, I stop. Take this your church, take it, take it, take it. God is using that person to chastise you. Then you give up. Imagine the same way God used a lot of people in the Bible to chastise or to correct or to discipline the Israelites. An example is the book of Nazar. He took the whole uh, Israel to captivity and then he beat them, Papa. He beat them, disciplined them. But when it comes to our side, when our Father God is using somebody to discipline us, then we are offended. Can you watch with, with God with that being in agreement? If the answer is no, then agree with God. Verse 6 says, says that the Lord disciplines everyone he loves. He severely disciplines everyone he accepts as a child. So which one who is on a platform who accept the faith that Christ, sorry, that you are the child of God? Yes, I do. Good. Then if you go through some hardship, don't say that God hates you. God, why me? God, why me? Most of times you go through trouble and say, God, why me? Why are you? Should it be me? As I'm going to say, let us English be a bad It should not be a national anthem that when you go through trials and tribulations, you say, God, why me? God, why me? If it's not you, should it be me? It shouldn't be me, it should be you. <laughs> you see that sometimes you see that you are in tight corner things are hard your papa god want to squeeze you to see your breaking point so god i quit every sabbath i'm in the church but i don't even have money for trump oh god you are wicked papa <laughs> say, hey. And then day money will come to your pocket oh i should not know i do the lord i just <laughs> say god. <laughs> See, we are children of God. Galatians 3.26 says, You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. I'm going to ask questions on this um, quotation I just quote. We are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. There is neither male nor female. All of us are one in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The question I want to put across here is that how did we become sons of God? How? Through faith, through faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Through faith in the Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Wow. Amen. Mama, thank you. Mm. So the Bible says in if you go outside there and you are blasting and see somebody say you are say child of God, are you a child of God? How did you come? God does not have a wife, as the Muslims say. How come do you become God's child? You tell the person, my friend, let me tell you. <laughs> Apart from the, the fact that I'm a Sabbatarian, Galatians 3 26 tells me that I am a child of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So spiritually, we are all called sons because of the special status son that in the hebrew culture regardless regardless of the gender 
just as the church is called the bride of Christ, you are part of this bride, regardless of whether you are male or female. In the same way, each and every believer, whether male or female, you are the son of God. Amen. Amen. Good. The question I want to put across here is this. If you are a son to a father, what must be your number one thing you should do to honor your father? Question. Se o papa no obi a, e di na e di abe na ye wa she di o so di kan ya e di kan pa. E na sem. O be ti e no. Good. Respect. You honor him, you obey his word. What again? O be di na she di a so. You obey his commandments. But Malon, the question I put here is that if you are a son to a father, what is your number one priority task that you should perform for your father? Obedience, respect. Huh? Obedience. You have relationship. With Obedience, you. respect, and uh, you have relationship belief. with me. You have to have a obey. relationship. Obedience is from obey, yeah. And also relationship. Uh -huh. You must have a relationship with your father. That one shows that you have a father. Then if you have a relationship with your father, then you will also respect him and obey whatever he tells you to do. So we, we are all parents on the platform. Let me ask this question. In case your son does not respect you, how will your relationship be with your son? Question. It will be... You give gap between your son and yourself. So mama said, yeah. if you don't, your, your son does not respect you, there's going to be, I mean, a gap between you and your son. Yes, who else? It will be uh, um, only be an one, without, one without respect. Good. There is no going to be respect among the two of you. Good. Mama Hannah, will you say something? Yeah. Mama is saying that whenever you see that your son, you begin to get pissed off. You begin to get angry. You become annoyed with him. Shalom, so, shalom. Imagine. You will not have a relationship with him. Good. The relationship will not be nice. As yes. a father and a son. Good one. I heard somebody saying shalom, shalom. Who is that? <laughs> Pachomaka. Oh, okay. All right. Good one. Now, let's read something from Romans chapter 8, verse number 15 and 16. I'm reading the NIV version. He said, You did not receive the spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the spirit of sonship. So, uh -huh. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testified that with our spirit that we are God's children. Uh -huh. Mama, your question answer has come here. How would you know that you are God's son? <laughs> Romans chapter number 8 verse 15 says, For you did not receive the spirit that makes you a slave to fear. But we receive the spirit of sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. The question, this one, I'm going to mention names. The question here is, how would you know that you are God's son? I'm going to call Mama Patricia. Mama Pat, please answer me. What testifies that you are God's son or God's child? Mama Pat. <laughs> Is having a relationship with him, obeying him? No, madam. Those things are the things you do. But before you do those things, something must testify that you are God's son. Before you do those things. That he has given us not to fear, but given us the son to be our father. There's no fear in me. Uh, not really the point. Something, something. Uh -huh. 
Either go and come back again. Go and come back. I'm thinking of it. Go and think, come back. Think again. well. Think well. I'm coming back again. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mama Lydia. Mama Lydia. Uh -huh. Romans chapter. Um, where is it? Romans chapter eight, verse fifteen. No, or can see me see here. Eh, yeah, what country Bible? No, no, yeah, she asked me what can I, Mama, so into me, yeah, no, we tree. And I'll go on, I said, bro, for now, make a canoe, into me, follow me. Mama, I'm part of my bit, my country Bible, no, mama, Romans eight, fifteen. You're reading the tree Bible, yes. Something must testify that you are God's son. What is it? Something must do it. What is it? Yeah, Romans Romans 815. My answer. Romans 815. Okay. 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 Mama um, Patricia, please come again with your answer. <laughs> I, I said it before. I said he has not given you the power to fear, but to be, to, to be his son to have the Abba Eja. But that is not the answer. So why am I a strong home? That uh, you are Mama, didn't say uh -huh. You did not say fear. You say power, but the answer is not power. No, I said fear. No, the answer is not fear. Okay, okay. Uh huh. So the answer is the spirit. Okay. So, Mama uh, Lydia, where the your answer now? The the one dance here, man, who so in your body, a home, home, no. Okay. So yeah, it's yeah. a spirit that bears witness that we are his son. So if you look at the Bible that I have shared on the screen, he said that the spirit, the spirit here, home, home, the spirit, it bears witness that we are God's children. Amen. Amen. So if somebody is a witch, the spirit inside that person does that one also um testify with god's spirit that he is child of god no no <laughs> okay if somebody is a drunkard and the person is driven by the passion the spirit of drunkenness does his spirit testify to god's spirit that he is child of god no 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 nice. okay if somebody like fighting pa, every time everywhere he where he want to fight he want to create a scene everybody knows him or her about fighting attitude that that spirit testify to god's spirit that he's a child of god no of course not so then if you are walking with god as a son or as a child what kind of spirit must you have Please, you answer it, but say it louder. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, of course. That Holy Spirit does things that are holy. You cannot say that you have the Holy Spirit and every night you went, you go with your kuvut and your feet can still amen, going to steal here and there. You can't say you have the Spirit that bears God's witness and every day you are fighting. Everybody knows you are up for this woman, if for this man, if this man. No, 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 no. Nobody talks good about you. That spirit does not testify you as God's child. So as Brother Malon said, for the spirit to testify that you are God's child, you must have the Holy Spirit 
at work in you. Amen. Amen. Good. I'm continuing. Let me bring back the presentation and we're about to finish the first part. Good one. Good. Now, there are types of sanction. There are types of children in a house. There are some children we call them biological children. There are some children we call them uh, stepchildren. There are some children we call them adopted children. <laughs> so we have biological children. That's the one the father and the mother met and they produced that child. And we have a stepchild. Like for example, I have one child already. And when I met my wife, two of us, we have a child, but it is from my side. So it's a step child. And we have another one. When my wife and I, we met for about 10 years, we are not having children. So we went to the organization and then we get somebody's child to live with us. He is adopted child. Let me ask this question. Of these three children, which one of them will the father in the house love most? He should love all three of them. I know. That's why the word is most. Much more most. Which one will the father love most? I biological think biological, biological child. Thank you very much. Biological child. <laughs> so the question too is, does God have biological children? No. Good. Does God have stepchildren? No. Does God have adopted children? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I think God has many biological children. Okay. The fact <laughs> is that... Yes, we are in the bank. Good. Spirit father. Spirit father. Jesus is his son, but not oh, biological. God. Jesus is the begotten son of God. Begotten. The one and only begotten son of God. But as for me and you, God's spirit has produced what we call adoption when you read the same uh, romans chapter um oh where am i romans chapter 8 verse 14 to 16 the bible says that he has given us the spirit of adoption producing sonship god does not i mean discriminate as long as his spirit is on somebody from uruguay somebody from suriname somebody from ghana from Netherlands, from Frank Reich. As long as his spirit suits you as a son, son is son, period. So it takes you to make the walk with him. You don't have to walk with God because you are adopted child. No, you walk with God because he's your father. Print out. Amen. Amen. Okay, Amen. I continue. Now, the different facet of the meaning of Paul's statement here is that what Paul was meaning in Romans chapter 8, verse number 15, 16 is that the original wording brought out by these three translations, the reason we are now called sons is because of the nature of the spirit we received. Didn't you pause here? Yeah, man on a say, Oh, my yeah, the Holy Spirit sent to our hearts. So you see, as Brother Malon, you give the correct answer. The Holy Spirit that God has given to our heart, that is what we are called God's children. Okay. And the name of that spirit is the spirit of adoption. We have been adopted into the inner family of God. And he has sealed us with his spirit. So we are no longer slaves to sin, but we are now all God's family children. 
So every right and responsibilities in the privileges in the family, we have the same thing. If the biological children are eating, the adopted children also eat, the stepchildren also eat. To God, everything is equal and the same. Amen. Amen. Good. So if you are working with God, don't work with God because you are adopted child. No, you are working with God because you are his child. Full stop. So Romans chapter 8, verse 14, 16 says that as a believer in Christ, we are now called a son of God. Period. The Holy Spirit is the one who enables his uh, this father-son relationship to take place. So the question here is that somebody, somebody made it possible for you to become the son of God. Who was that person? Jesus Christ. Yes, no. The Messiah. No, madam. Uh, perhaps eh? the, uh, the mother who uh, bear, uh, gave birth to a child? No, sir. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is right there on your phone. <laughs> Romans chapter 8 verse 14 says that. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So the now Holy I Spirit see. is the one who <laughs> enables. The Holy Spirit enables. <laughs> This father has the question, question again. The question was, who made it possible for you to become the son the Holy of Spirit. God? Yeah. <laughs> In your previous answer, you said it correct, but now I twisted the question. You get it wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wanted to see if you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So what, let me read the key version for um our mother to understand a three version of the Romans 8:15. He said, for he was say, na dodoa o nyankopon ho ho di won kan no. Wo na wo ye o nyankopon ma. Yetie ni ye pa. Aha, ho ho na se me e kan ye o. Na mo anya akoye ho ho ma mo di be shiro bio. Na mo mo anya abaye ho ho a eno mu na yetie mu se aba eja. Ho ho na ra na ye ne ho ho no ara ne ye <laughs> so the spirit and the holy spirit bear witness that we are god's children so without the holy spirit you cannot be god's children paint out Amen. so let me put the uh, this one off and ask questions now the question is that, um, let me mute everybody. When I unmute you, then you give me the answer. Everybody here has a date of birth. <laughs> everybody here on the platform has a date of birth. I have muted everyone. Uh -huh. So when I ask, I mention your name, then you unmute yourself and you give me the answer. <laughs> when my father gave birth to me, the date of birth was a certain date. That day is my birthday. That day I became my father's son. But when, when, when did you become God's son? It's a question I want to ask Mama Lendam Poma. Mama Lendam Poma. Da bena obeyo onyankro pomba. Nepacho. Ayada. Imagine us and Ned. I'm much more free, dear, and you na my boys. You made us say, Where in chat, but a year, my father, sir, maybe I'm dear, Mr. Where in channel. Made us say, Why are they? What can be? Made us say, May friend, my Jenna, my Jenna, that bear now be your young couple, but my Jenna, when did you become a child of God? And I'm a five years to send me a crown in my Jenna. Mo meda se weti but what try? Meda to him chain. That was a wrong answer. <laughs> Let me ask the first last person, Mama Vida. When did you become God's child, Mama Vida? When? That is it. The day the Holy Spirit 
gave birth to you. Assembly the mama, mama uh, Linda and mama Jenna. Mm -hmm. As for the word of God, you heard it. Because the Bible says, if <laughs> you cannot come to God unless the word or the son calls you. <laughs> so you can hear the word of God all right. You can take steps all right. But the Holy Spirit must guide you and seal you to be a child of God. So that day, even though you were 50 years today, and yesterday night, last night, the Holy Spirit brought you into sonship with God, your date of birth of yesterday, and not 50 years ago. Amen. So in the spiritual realm, or God's spirit, your date of birth is different from your natural date of birth. When the Spirit gives birth to you, gives you a new life, a newness of everything he brings you to his your father elohim yahweh amen so whenever you believe in the lord jesus christ you are baptized with water but the holy spirit has not yet sealed you you have not become god's child yet because the romans where we just read he said it is the spirit he didn't say it's the word that you listen not the preaching no most of us, we have listened to Apostles' Sermon over and over and over again. Yes, we have listened to Apostle preaching, preaching, and every time as we were watching, we are cut by the word. <laughs> but not all of us has the Holy Spirit endorsed. Because your character inside of you must be shaped by the spirit, the way you talk identifies who your father is. If you are a liar, you have the same DNA with your father. If you have the truth, you have the same DNA with your father. Right now, my children, they have, they have all my DNA. Everyone. And your DNA must be the DNA of God. That's the Holy Spirit's life. So Mama, Jenna and Mama, uh, Linda, Yes, assembling their what? What sacra what drink? Good. What about to correct? But so who 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 now my brother boy is saying see what noa? Now my man who can who? It's the Holy Spirit that will convict you when you are wrong. When you are doing something that is wrong, the Holy Spirit say, my friend, stop that. Oh, my Lord, I'm sorry. But there are some people that the Holy Spirit does not even talk to them. He doesn't even know them. They want to push themselves to come and miss God's children. No. The Romans says, uh, Romans 48, 41, you read. Say so those who are led by God's spirit, they are the children of God. He did not say those who listen to God's word. He didn't say that. Till nyanko po man, wamo no wamo nyanko po hon hon kron kron, e du wano mkaina ka wong. Nyamo hon kron kron ka wong. We have one year who is why upon us who seem not the open one or yet they are one can hold to. I didn't write the Bible, please don't be angry with me. I'm just interpreting. So let me ask the question <laughs> Are we all God's children? If you are, just on your microphone and say, Yes, I am. 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 Yes, we are. Yes, okay. I am. Thank you. All the yes, I am people. <laughs> All the yes, I am people. This is your second question. And I'm Pacho and Pesem Busa question. We Pacho me ba. Manu be since ya no Busa me so I'm not that way. I'm Pacho why? All the yes, I am people. What must lead you? How must you be led to be called God's son? The Holy Spirit. By the Spirit of God. Good. 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 The Holy Spirit. Now, when the Holy Spirit comes in your life to make you a child, how would you know? By my attitude. Thank you. And by what again? It's convicted me. Your convictions, correct? What again? 
the fruit the fruit of the spirit that you bear correct ah that one is very good right correct what again uh -huh. the, yes the yes i am people i'm not talking to you <laughs> i know all those who say yes i am yes i am we found that I need, I need more. I need more. Not all of you have talk. <laughs> so if the spirit leads you, what make will you, how would you know that hey, I'm being led by God's but how would you know? Okay, okay. Let me come hunger for the word. You hunger for the Madam, word. Because first, maybe after that time now open to Papa. Mo, me da se life can change. Your lifestyle changes. The way you do your things changes. Uh huh. So if you say you are God's child and your lifestyle is still the same, ten years ago, five years ago, everybody know you with bad character. Then my sister, you can't count. Can. Then we when you are counting God's children, don't say I am part. But nothing has changed on you. The Holy Spirit has not convinced you. Who do everybody count? No. God's children have the same DNA with their Father God. Now, let me pause here and go for the answers for Sister Linda. Mama Linda, please ask your question. Mr. Wasemino. Me pacho. No, you don't know, sir. I don't know. And then I trust that we are young couple. By Hong Hong Kong, that we are how to who say Hong Hong Kong to Mua, one year one day, he said, No home, how many two months, and my one year one day, that we are to use a dear way, party, and you can't say may yet. But now, Bibia shall know up for ye, and no, no, who ya, and on a chess and Hong Kong, no, to me, we saw two, Mimi, who is over two more. And Kaun Koya dia, Unkoya di and Sia San Homo. When no one in Ukoya see any pub, and whom no yet see ya, Yame. And two Koya and on a chesser, whom let you. Okay. The question our mother is asking is that if the Holy Spirit in, lives in you and you want to do something, you know that what you are doing is wrong and you did it anyway. Now, does it mean that the spirit is in you? Okay, Mama. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. May there are two phones of Hesu Dean. What say? Now, do do ah, when you come home, do you want kind of? What are you going to come home? Mama, let me know. I'm going to come home. I'm going to come home. I'm going to come home. Aha. Bible na say no o Kenya na make say Bible na say na dodo a o Nyankopon ho di won kan no o di ukan se kodi kodi di obi atam da bi o di ukan se kobo kro no da bi o di ukan se kobo dwama na kwaja de bi a emfata da bi da bi Nyankopon ho konkon ya ma e ka e di unim ka ma o ya de pa ntio wo se sankrofo na wo mo Nyankopon ma mama Yo he bet me a fum. A fum woho. Hm? Say, Meno Cassa. Na, what why I did be a man fat? I am yana, say, ye nipa, or where be a machine. No, my two cheek amount. Two of whom, ye yada, my two cheek amount. They may have my yenny ye. Me ye ya, oh, me ya, 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 Oh, sister, uh, Linda and Pacho, Mr. Manka say, Fatemi. I want to know, Nano. Who home they come in, Tino? No, my Pacho. It means that the spirit is in me. But you go on to the air. Why, yeah, they're not crying. Can you say the way in my bonnet? Oh, be. Eba, sir, you can't call yourself, say, who home they do, kind and ask what you mo. Man, and Pacho, difference I met, sir, what you are saying. Me pacho mati asu na di ente mami busa asa ano. Aha. Uh -huh. Nen sen dem go blow plan kala. Obi ya madi ne ya mi apa ente na se minti mi ufan cheno na mi tu eni pana na 
make a chamado na tira no Okay. Mate, me da se. Ma me nche mungko brof, mwia me samba oso. Brother Malone and uh, and uh, Deandre, uh, if I, fatale, yeah? The question yeah, of our yeah. sister is that if you do something wrong, you know you are mm -hmm. a Christian, you believe that the Spirit of God is in you, and you do something wrong or you deliberately hurt someone, that does signify that the Holy Spirit is in you, and I used Romans chapter 8 verse number 14 to answer her by saying that, the Bible says that those who are led, the light is come from the Holy Ghost, eh? those who are led by the Holy Spirit, they are God's children. So the question was, if would the Holy Spirit lead you to steal? No. Would the Holy Spirit lead you to fight? No. Would the Holy Spirit lead you to do something wrong against your neighbor? No. But as human as we are, if you offend a brother or a sister deliberately or indeliberately per uncle or express uh, 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 the halika case uh, he must be able to convict you and say what did you do did you do well then immediately you apologize that means that the holy spirit leads you you still remain god's child but if you wrong someone you insult someone you do something wrong you don't even feel it there's nothing wrong with you, then you don't have it. So our sister just gave an example that she wronged someone, somebody wronged her, offended her, and she also talked back. She knew what she did was wrong, but she did not apologize to the lady. But when she went ahead and prayed, God forgive me my sins. Sister Linda, here I'm coming to you. You should say, someone from Obonia and Chemua. Maja was from Mania, was from Mania Day. Angel, you see that? It's your whole now, Concrete Catcher or say, I'm Marco Bunko Jaco Paya, which also for one angel. Only another from what a chain one are. I'm going to be Casa Guadrimo. Casa Guadrimo said, They'll go back to the person, sister. I apologize. They'll be a man in ye. Then you have the Holy Spirit. And on Holy Spirit, wrong, what she are? Was how do we see Quana so back? On Jao Maunira. Okay. 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 Stalenda, the Awokano, a chess and Nipano Crano, a hard said the Odi Kansibusa and all set. Say Ed Cassay, ye own woman at Tia Munedi advances ye in your copoma. And no dress a young bonny and a young fuman answer your boom for Tina Bible so can say, see your boom for but your male young cotter your boom for so. And answer, met me a your bonny. Maybe you are your family member and answer what our best friend be. But dear Anka opportunity and your mamma winna, I answer. Sister na su san hunu ne mfum so ana san ne boni a waye wa pa wa cho eti honom no ah sa se mo still na nka chi se u beti mi afra na ka se minua ma dia wo kan na mate na mo mi anzo so kra na mi so ma nzu so ama me bu wa mfu a eti mi so dia me kan ya no mi ya so because e dru ba bi a o beti mi kan sam bi kire wa wa wo hu se dia wo kan na e bi a wo honam fam dia wudi bi mi se wa ka sa a kire no but eni pa na san anu no ho and then also so or power power tower also so sapana tower and then we do a be any to me pato 
Oh, where's me a sorrow now? So, 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 because we went to the church from last week and I said two weeks. Now, no, what I say? Sabbath, no, quaint, you mean why? No, mono, no. And if I'm super sell who after Sabbath, and your brother, Bonnie Nancy and Nina, I mean, and to me, as well, sir, sister, and our brother, Chrono, who was our friend at Chile Castle, once wife and home, we said, was so one idea. Sister, no crown, our brother, no bones, eh, sister. Who to me, then, yes, I say, I'm sorry, I walk with one, so no, oh, tea, and send me an answer, say, I look up the one, and let you watch it. Any dinner, Nyami Alpana, John Momodia, any panel would young can your memory patch our nurse, said the NC a year, a year, a penny, a mitch, a wood, a year, but send the panel tears a year, and I knew a idea. According to the Oka Crano, a child panel pen, also I got a wood, a year fatu, a tress and a crany abodu, and to me, need your friend, and now so panel talk at and said the Oka in Yano. We are sorry, Adam Bacho, no one and person maker. And I know, yeah. Mama, let that patch what you Good. Adam Good. Uh, to summarize it for our brothers, my lord, and the group, uh, whenever an offense comes and the taking partai, the one who feels he has wronged you, apologizes as, brother, I'm sorry for what I did. Immediately accept the apology and, and close the docket. But if you say, ah, yes, part from what? Be kind it, man. And you walk away, even though the person has said that he is sorry. But then if you are led by the Holy Spirit, you would just let matters come down. Second thing that our sister just contributed is that when the Holy Spirit is in you and you do something wrong, he will convict you. He let you know that what you said is a lie. What you did isn't right. And then immediately you make amends. That is what we call by leading by the Holy Spirit. He lead you to do what is right at all times. Mm-hmm. But there are some people, when they wrong somebody or something happened, they don't feel anything. It's like a, a thief. He will steal something from you today. Hmm? The next day, you come and try the next one. The next time, he's coming with a gun to shoot you and kill you and take all your belongings. He doesn't feel anything. anything. But as for us, by the Holy Spirit, we can wrong. We can fault. Okay? But the moment we are convicted, that is what we meant by being led by the Spirit. The Spirit. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Ada. In our work, Ada, sorry, I had a point. Yeah. The best said, may they contribute to me 1 John 3 9. Was it? Whosoever is born of God does not That's commit not sin. sin. Mm-hmm. For his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, but you Christ already has some cool cool things about him. But Abana, a team of people, maybe I say your body, it will convict us. And we may have to be on the phone so we see a patch over. Nah, the patch over. Yes. And the patch over is in First John three. First John three nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you, Papa. Mm-hmm. Now, Papa, patch over no see. Ada. Ah ah. Okay, but the man on what our father contributed just now is that he quoted from First John three verse number nine. Is here. See, he said those who are born into God's family, as we are treating now, do not make practice of sinning. You see the English here. You made the practice of sinning every day. You practice it. Every day you practice it. Today I'm going to insult. I'm going to insult this woman until she feels that I am mine. I will start from the head and insult the neck. By the time I get to her stomach, you feel me. Ay, 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 ay. You are practicing <laughs> Today I'm going to Amsterdam support a castle. Yes, Van Hema, Dana Krafat, Dan Kai Shop. By the time I come, I feel that yes. Ay, ay, ay. 
we are practicing sin. No, 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 no. Hmm. If you have God's spirit and you do one thing, the spirit inside of you will convict you. Hey, but first stop that. So he said, you cannot keep on sinning. You see, you cannot keep on doing it. Why? Because you are the children of God. You can't keep on doing it. No, 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 no. You insulted me yesterday. I thought it was a mistake. Today you are continuing. Next week you continue. Hey, my friend, what is wrong with you? What kind of spirit is in you? So the moment you see that you have sin, don't practice it. Go down your knees. The spirit will convict you. As for forgiveness of sin, then move on. That is what our father contributed. And I like the quotation. So we cannot keep on practicing sinning. So to bring is our Bible about the, Is it not all about the intent? Yeah, the, the you intent. Could, yes. You could want to do it, but you, you, you withhold yourself. Yes. You, 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 you suppress it. Yes, so you suppress it. You want it. to steal, but you know it's wrong, so you don't do it. But you don't do it. Even, even if you don't do it, but the intention is there, then that's still wrong, I think. The intention is there, but let the Holy Spirit go above your intention. Yes. Uh -huh. What I mean is that if you if you have the intention, but you, you still you don't act to it, then it's still wrong. Good. Because within you, you want, and it's it's if the Holy Spirit is within you, then the intention will be, let's say, wiped away. Exactly. Thank you very much. It's like Ada. Mama, Mama, one second, please. When I was coming to church, I know that I have to make Rosie with you after church service. When mm -hmm. I was putting on my tie in the house, I knew I'm going to do something to you. When mm -hmm. I go, I'm going to hold my lawn like this. I will hold him until his shoe will not touch the floor. I'm that guy, ay, 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 ay. I had the intention. The Holy Spirit did not tell me that what you're going to do is wrong. And I came. I did whatever I did to you. The intention is still there. After doing it, I went home, eat and relax. I said, that doesn't happen. Is the Holy Spirit in me? No, never. But our sister's case, she was convicted. And that's why mm -hmm. she feel a while. I should have apologized. You mm -hmm. see? So the presence of the Holy Spirit in us as believers and as children is very, very important. Very important. You going to the church on Saturday alone does not qualify you to be 100% God's child, but the Spirit of God. That base you say, Abba, Father. Amen. 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 Mama Bada, you wanted to come in? Um, if I show me, my question is, sir, I'm going to come and I'm going to come and I'm I was a me me ya pesa me nku me nya sa adie bi a me pesa me nku ana me nya bi bi se no so e ka nya me som nya me ho ho me ho bi ana what is pesa me nku me in english surface surface yeah and that surface hi selfishness our um, sister is saying that as a child of god uh it's being selfish <laughs> mama come and give it your question please <laughs> self-centered selfishness selfishness okay but well, an easy question will be our answer as being a child of God, must I be selfish? That was a question. Uh, Kingsley, 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 uh, um, can I be a selfish as a child of God? <laughs> everything, me, me, me. I have to have everything for myself. Me, me, me. Um, as, a, as, a, as a child of God, I believe uh, to be a selfish is not a, is not a, uh, something from the spirit. Uh, as I already said, that if you have the spirit of anger, then you have to know who your father is. 
God is not a selfish God. And the spirit we are serving, and the spirit that is leading us is not a selfish spirit. It's the reason why if you, if you are adopted son or uh, a son, he see you as a son, no matter who you are. So to be a selfish, and I don't think it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a right thing as a Christian to have, as a, to be in the, that position. Okay, thank you. Good. Thank you. Is anybody but going but to? Yes. But sister, can you say, we are Christian in our yes, and me, 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 in this I am going to be a war. I want to be a quotation. No, no, I can't remember. In this I say, be a young man, be a war. I want to be Now we need to say, young man, we want to be more. Now, a be a war, be a No, no, we are more. No, I don't know. So be to me, I am. Now, so we pass any pen. You know, so we are just my new. In this, no, what they want to do, I am not going to share. The patch on Tino selfish no no into me more salmon in ye. Tell was here to me, she shay in your muscle out for fraud. Amen. Let me use the Bible to answer Mama's question. Then we bring our Bible study to a close. Now, selfishness is not part of God's character. Like I said in the beginning, and our elder also confirmed that if you have a father, you must have your father's DNA. Now, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5 says, You should know this. Timothy, you should know this, Mama Vida. You should know that, Mr. Malon. You should know this, all of us. Timothy refers to all of us. That in the last days, there will be very difficult times. Of course, it's true. For people will love only themselves. Mama Vida, they will love themselves and their uh -huh. money. They will be boastful uh -huh. and proud scoffing mm -hmm. at God, disobedient to children and parents, ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. You see the category God is talking about here? People will love only themselves. Mm -hmm. In these difficult times. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They will be boastful. They will be proud. They will be scoffing at God. They will be disobedient to their parents. They will be ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. You see verse 3 here. You see that? They will be unloving uh -huh. and unforgiving. They will mm -hmm. be slander others. They have no self-control. Uh -huh. You see that? You see that? Uh -huh. It's right there. You see that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They will be cruel. And they will hate what is good. So if you are a child of God and you uh -huh. have these things in you, then I'm sorry. You? Where is uh -huh. your Holy Spirit? Amen. So 2 Timothy 3, verse 1 to 5, answers the question with even much more things. And again, mm -hmm. verse 4 says that they will betray their friends. They'll be friends today, they'll be fighting the next day. They'll be reckless, be puffed up and pride, Ahomaswa, and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that will make them godly. You see that? To those category here, if the Holy Spirit is in you, he will help you to deal away with this. Then you become good. And in case you fall into it quickly, the Holy Spirit convicts you and you get out of it. So 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5 answers your question. Amen. It's yeah. now. It's Amen. Now. Amen. Look, Mama. Okay. Yes. Come the last quotation. Anna. And I'm Patrons on Concon or Don and Nam dia. First Corinthians five, no so or Don yet. I pass a mean cumina. Yes, it is our own Concon Timor or Do or so in your dosu come. And our dosu say, young Quan is said to be our person in your winner. Good. Thank you, Mama. God bless you. Yes, Mama, by the last one, that we close. And I, and I, his eighteen or so, most and so. Who read the Adam so a better crystal sompa? I will a quamba fast or so crystal near Bow Bra and also at the can holding. Okay, thank you. All right, God bless you all.
So, in bringing today's Bible study to a close, the main topic being walking with God. Last week we took examples. Today we are learning walking with God as a son. If you are God's son, what proves that? What shows that you are? How are you supposed to walk with your father? So all the things we just mentioned, if you are walking with God, your father, and all these things are near you, then please throw that baggage away. I am going to church on Saturday alone does not guarantee that the heaven is open for you. But the way you walk with your father, God, Elohim, is what matters. May the Lord God Most High, Elohim Yahweh himself, may he bless you and give you the heart to contain this word and let the word work in your life so that you remain the child of God in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Good. I suppose any questions will be written down for next week. Eight o'clock is eight o'clock. People will go to sleep and tomorrow they will go to work. So we, we end it here. If anything you don't understand, please write. By the grace of God on Wednesday, when we, uh, sorry, on Saturday when you meet in the church, you can bring your questions. Amen. Amen. So, Papa Kevin, I have done it, Papa. Please continue the rest. Um, thank you, Elder, for the preaching. Um, it is now um, prayers. We call Elder from Paul to pray and benediction. Ah, no announcement. Sister Hannah, please, can you do an announcement for us? Sorry. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. And that, Oba, the own shalom. Amen. The man who crying and the beer, or the nurse, or man, now the maid. We shall pay no cost to know your case here. Amen. I will share messages, so say, Oma, we are a. Oma, we are doing it here now. This year, Oba, the answer, a little bit better. Amen. But you think I win your sentence? Oh, by the way, I my Friday. The best at TM5, born in Sydney, Danny, the end, and the six o'clock night, I started. But you open prayer, Bay Elder Andrews. What's your mama Lydia? Sorrow song, Mama Mary. And I'm part of the day, I send by Elder from Pong. And I to be the enemy may have bomb fire see elder kinsi and am patch of crossing prayer and so nay benediction by elder kinsi iti e de oba de on kan ho na oma adefa enchi amen amen ana and the get us me be di juma die no chi am ya bae wanka and i get us be your id to officer amen this one yeah Okay. Uh, Elder mm -hmm. Paul, please can you pray for us and benediction? Obadiya me ekoswara tawas. Nanso odu ma bishia na na wonu asem so akasa chire. Se de be na ebitimi enu ananti ye. Na ya chumini ya nuhusu ananti ye. The bomb pass on your men conqua utimu. Yea, saying, you know, over church for ye. Now, it may be a two one among Nama Unami and Munyam a day. Fe, I know ya were no one, and I'm not doing so afraid a banning chain. On count, not on you more than sure, and I do no mound in ya and ya as you create. I will assure me, say it to Amen. Amen. Pepe da se pa ya we isra. Nyami ya duma Friday no si ya pepe pepe ni ya shasi. Nyami ya duma memenda bomodi ya na jeli biya tu bra bra ni ni na ya kusum Elohim ya we imum. Amen. Amen. Good. Good. If you are here, the better page in so na ubiya so elhu di el kusum. Oba di isra se ni we timi ba ye. Amen. Amen. Emma, shalom, shalom. Yahweh. Yahweh, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Amen. Hey, Mam Kwa do no. Kobolo. Mam Kwa do Saturday. Wow, Ma, sorry. I'm a bit too slow. Oh. Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Me, Sharon. Me, me, the other. Wow, Madam, bit too slow. Oh. Hmm. Better day. Yo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, bad, yeah, the room. Nobody has said. And I can't see Yamin Shrapa, why are they? Just cut and concise. Oh, my told a long time no see. Oh, my Lydia, Nadia, Tia, no, maybe be an old Mamma Lydia. 